Wow. Robert, no man alive needs this much stuff. Walking in, it was shocking. Now, antiques, oil paintings, silverware. Does it not, I mean, frustrate you that we're sat with all this, and yet we can't pay our staff properly? There's someone I'd like you to meet. She's the head auctioneer at Bonhams in Boston. Amy, good morning. Good morning, Gordon. Uh, nice to see you. Gordon, great to see you. Likewise, thank you so much for coming. Um, we're in the shit, basically, and this stuff needs to go. We need to raise as much money as possible. So what's the best price we can get for all this stuff? What you have here doesn't read as a collection to me. It's kind of an accumulation. A lot of copies of things, or if they are right. of the period that they're supposed to be, there's some condition issues. Um, I would say about 25,000. Say That's that again? 25,000. $25,000. All this? All this. Amy's opinion on our, our things was shocking, and I can't really believe that. And the painting? The painting is a copy, and not a good one, I'm afraid. How much is that worth? I can't imagine what someone would pay for it. It's, it's really very low value. Wow. Robert, I thought you said it was expensive, 18th century. Well, it's dated. I dated 17th century. It is, but it's not actually of that period at all. I'm sorry. Did you know that was a copy? I did not know that that was a copy. Lots of copies. Reproductions. Reproductions. We're hoping in the ballpark of three to 400,000. 25 grand for everything. Yeah. That won't even get us through the next five weeks. Even all this amazing silverware. I put $100 on everything on this table. $100? What about this? First period, this is Sheffield. Yeah, it's plate. What about this? 175 bucks. Th those are Baccarat candlesticks? They just don't bring very much at auction, I'm afraid. Is this the kind of collection that you'd be willing to sell at Bottoms? Would you take the whole lot? No, we wouldn't. Wow. We would have to say no. It's nice everywhere. Who writes notes like this? Why do I have to ask weekly for the fish to be iced down? Do not take this sign down. Do not take my pens by your own. If you use this drill, replace it. Or I'll buy a new one with your paycheck. <laughs> Bloody hell. Charming. Ken definitely has issues. Bloody hell. If you eat these cookies, take one to your next job interview. I mean, my god. I'm surprised anyone still fucking works here. This guy is incredible. That's not management. This is insane. I can't believe Ken is so passive aggressive with his staff. I need to talk to him and find out what the hell is going on. I come across all these little notes about don't take this. If you do, take it to your next interview. You tell me, what's going on? I, I don't like being taken advantage of. I have some hard times with things that they do. But why aren't you talking to them? Why aren't you leading them? Why aren't you motivating them? Why aren't you getting close to them? The secret of any good management is about communication, understanding, and putting yourself on their level. Maybe I, I look at it as they should be on my level. Who are you kidding? Good Hello, welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Gordon, first name is? Melissa. Melissa. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Lisa Crock. Lisa, nice to see you. You don't um, look very happy. I do. Um, I, uh, oh, this it's your happy it's my resting face. Wow. Um, yes, welcome to the Vienna. So happy to be here. Well, I'm to the cat. <laughs> Poor thing. Cat got run over. Oh, I see. And you got it stuffed? For Halloween. Right. Actually, better to see you now. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, love the attire, by the way. Thank you. Everyone wears this. Wow. How much are the outfits? About $300, $400. Three hundred dollars. Average, you know. They get their own. I mean, they're their own dresses, you know. Oh, you buy your own uniforms? Yes, yes. they do. Stop it. We do. Well, they have them for many years, and it reminds them to not gain weight. <laughs> Could you ask him just to boil me an egg? Sure thing. Soft boiled egg. He can't possibly mess up a soft boiled egg, can he? Soft boiled egg for corn. Okay, what? Egg? Soft boiled egg. What? I'm just like going. Wow. No egg cup. No. I'll make my own egg cup. Fucking okay, hell's bells. 
Oh, it's raw. <laughs> Is this really happening? He can't even boil a fucking egg. <laughs> fucking thing's still got feathers on it. <laughs> Could have probably cooked that another two minutes. Oh, that was an RL. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fucking moldy tortillas. There should not be fucking any moldy fucking food. It's fucking horrible. And when was this made? Last Saturday. No, I need it. Just I smell that. Need to toss it. I know that. And this terrible. You should be fucking ashamed. Okay. Okay. No, it's not okay. What is that? It's to be uh, black mold. What is it supposed to be? Thai chili marinade. Thai chili marinade. I don't know if it's been used in a while. The sauces was from a chef that had been there like in 2006 or seven or something. This is exactly the same way as you run this fucking hotel. You don't give a shit. Well, I give you a shit. I give a shit. If I this do. is your dream of running a hotel, then how about manning up and look like fucking owners? We are. This is fucking unacceptable, and it's not going to happen anymore. Have you checked out? Because you should do no, the whole thing. Haven't. Say to these two, fuck it. I'm he has out. not checked out. He's Can a, you let him talk? I have Sorry. not checked out, and I obviously I need to pay more attention and do better at my job. How many of you can run a fucking business? Do you ever see three CEOs, three fucking no. general managers, no. three fucking executive chefs? Huh? It's like dumb run, dumb run, dumbest. Are you guys really the fucking owners? True story. Fuck off!